Good morning, Covers, Prospects, and Pledges. Uh, we're at a new spot this morning. We're going to hit this little tot lot. And uh, this video, I see my lens is going to fog up on us. This video starts, the first video in our September Clag Challenge against See It My Way 1 with Shane Kabat. So Shane, if you're watching this, uh, keep in mind that this starts the Clag Challenge and... Uh, We'll go over a few of the other things that we're going to be doing with this challenge uh, later on. So stick around, enjoy the video, and we will see you at the first good signal. Alrighty Covers, welcome back and we're still working here in this little tot lot and we've been finding uh, pennies and dimes and nickels and I just come across a quarter and I think it's just one of the new ones. No! Oh my dear lord! No way! No way! No way guys! Let me get back with you on this. Alrighty Covers, Bucket Lister. I've done got it cleaned up. I just found my first Standing Liberty quarter. Right over there where the Ace 200, right there, I found that with my Ace 200. Right under that little tree, it was ringing up as an 88 and it is a 1917. You're not going to be able to see the date on it. Robert. Bucket Lister Standing Liberty Quarter. Woo! Look at that. Silver. Silver. Alrighty, Covers. Let's hope we get on something better. If I don't know what it would be. Great find, Robert. Back to you on the next good signal. Alrighty, welcome back covers and prospects and uh, pledges. I just found that standing liberty right there. I'm working under, still working under this little apple tree. And looky here. We've got something quite interesting here. This is some kind. Here, let me uh, set you all up here. So I can have both hands. Let's get out some uh, trusty Clark's Cove Creek water. And clean this up for you all. Now, this challenge we've got going on with uh, Shane over at See It My Way 1. Okay, what it is is September Clad Challenge and this is going to be the first video. And it's between Shane and Melissa because, you know, two against one is not fair that Shane uh, is by himself. So Melissa is going to um, represent Clark's Cove Detecting. And at the end of the month, whoever has the uh, most clad gets to uh, issue a challenge to the loser and that loser has to do it, film it, and uh, post it. And we've got some kind of medical badge here. That is pretty cool. Nothing on the back of it. But yeah, some kind of medical badge. And so uh, that's what we've got going on this month with September and that's what the clad challenge is. So. Uh, Hope you all enjoy and we'll see you at the next Good Signal.
And all righty covers, Melissa's hollering at me and she thinks she has a ring. And Melissa has a ring. Yes, Melissa does. Ooh. Let's get her cleaned up and see what Let's we got. Let's get some trusty old Clark's Cove Creek water out and we'll get back with you all. Okay, welcome back. And yeah, it's just a junker, but it's a ring. Uh, Clark's Cove detecting does not discriminate. We love finding rings, even the cheapies. So uh, we're going to keep swinging and uh, this place has been good. We've had a bucket lister out of here today. Now Melissa's got a ring. And she's in this clad challenge with Shane. This is the first video of it. And uh, stick around and... Hold on just a minute here and I'll show you what I've got in clad so far. If you can see... Oh yeah. Down in here. She's having a good day. This little tot lot's produced quite a bit of clad and that's what we like to find. On to the next. Good. Welcome back, Covers. I just got a penny out of this hole here and then look what was laying here with it. We've got a token. And that is a pretty cool token. To thine own self be true. Unity, service, recovery. Three months. Oh, this is a sobriety coin. Well, that's a first. Has the serenity prayer on the back. Sweet. We'll take it. On to the next. Alrighty, Covers. Melissa just come along a coin spill and she's got six pennies out of this coin spill so far. And it's still saying there's something in the hole. So we'll stick around here with her and see if we can see what she gets out of there. It's a little muddy. We've had a little bit of rain, which is good. It's helping signals really uh, pop out of the ground a lot better today. It's right, right there. Uh, thought I seen it, but maybe not. There it is. There right it is. There. Ooh. Is that a weedy? No. No. Just it's a, a shield. It's a normal one, so that's seven pennies. Well, there's another one in there. Here, give me your... Take that. that. There's something laying right there. Yeah, it looks like we're making a mess. Making a mess. We will put I'll it I'll fix it. So you all out there in... Got to break some eggs to make an omelet. YouTube land, don't worry about the mess. We clean it up. It's right, right there in that loose dirt. Right. right oh my there. goodness! Oh, look at that! Oh my goodness! Look. There's another one, two, three, four, five, six pennies on top of the seven she's done found. Wow. Some kid. Has, has buried those. Yeah. Yeah, right there's another one. There's still more there. Right there. There's another one. Cool. Yeah, there's still more in there. Well, Melissa's really going to be, she's on her game on this clad challenge. Shane, I hope you're up for it. Check your hole, make sure there's I'm no more. I'm going to, i got to get on my knees. Yep, yep, right there, I see it right there. And another one, yeah, and another one. Wow, there's still, we'll have to get back with you on how many she gets out of here, folks. Uh, so bear with us and we'll get back. Here's another one. Okay, Covers, we got all those pennies out of there. Finally, 38 pennies in that spill. Congratulations, Melissa. I'm proud as a peacock. Great. This little park has, uh, this little tot lot and park here has really turned out to be a good place. Uh, and we will see everyone on the next good signal. 
Alrighty, Covers. <clears throat> Melissa's calling me back over. <clears throat> oh, wow. I got a snowman. What in the world? It's heavy. I don't know. It's a little decoration oh, of some I see. sort. Yes, it is. It's frosty. It is a little snowman. Cool. It's been off a chime, wind chime, or something. Uh -huh. It is does have something written on it. Uh, let me get back with you all on this. Alrighty everyone, it wasn't nothing precious. It's just a, look like a lead or pewter snowman. But still pretty cool. Um, congratulations, Melissa. Thank you. Off to the next. And welcome back, Covers. And I was coming along here getting an awesome 83 solid. <laughs> And we got our first wheat penny. And let's see if we can get a date off of it. I cannot see it. So uh, let me get my eyes out and we'll get right back with you. And it's going to be a 1956. I think you can see it right there. And it is in excellent shape. Off to the next. Welcome back Covers and we're working outside uh, this little tot lot now. We've done pretty well finished up in there. And we're going to do this curb strip right down through here. And look at the, look at the size of this key I just found. Is that not just a big key or is that not just a big key let's see if we can get anything off of it best western room 204 wow cool folks is that not just cool love the old keys on to the next Okay, welcome back Covers, and we're still working down this curb strip outside of this little uh, tot lot, and Melissa has got a token. And we have found these before with the eagle and the stars around it, and I think those are peace tokens. If I'm wrong, someone correct me down in the comments. Sweet. On to the next. All righty, Covers. Uh, we were coming along here and getting a good signal. Can you see it? Don't know what it is yet, but I think I have a ring. I think it's going to be a junker. But a ring. Nonetheless, let's get a little bit of water and uh, clean it up and we'll get right back with you. Alrighty, Covers, we're back and it is just bling. There's a lot of flaking on it. But still, that's two rings out of here today. Uh, we'll be able to call that last call or last signal. If we don't find anything else, uh, we'll see you at the wrap up. And if we do, uh, we'll let you know. So, off to the next. Alrighty, Covers. We are back to the Cove and out here at the shop. And we are ready to do this wrap up. And what a day we had at that new little uh, playground. Yeah. We have went by that playground a hundred times and talked about hunting it and never have until today so let's go over our finds shall we let's do with me ha uh, we had an assortment of goodies today of course the junk had a pair of glasses always i found this uh cylinder to a toy cap gun i found a trigger to a toy gun I found part of a compact and I did not film that but you can definitely see 
It's got the hinges there, the little hole where the fastener would have been. And then I found another cap, uh, once again probably to a compact of some kind, makeup, don't know. Found a little ball, that rang in, that little rubber ball rang in really good, about blew my ears off. I uh, had this little um, insulator, it says Lewis Manufacturing Company on it. Have no idea what that was to. Uh, I did find a part of a mason jar lid inside of. Found this little rubber bird. No idea what that is. Found Tweety. <laughs> I think I thought a putty tat. I found a Best Western key. Now let me tell you, there hasn't been a Best Western in Huntington and I couldn't tell you how long. Uh, room 204. Look at the size of that thing. That's cool. That's a love finding stuff like that. Uh, what did you say that thing is, Melissa? A caduce. A caduce. That was a good find, and I filmed that. Got that on film. I had a To Thy Own Self Be True three months recovery token. It's got the serenity prayer on the other side. So, yes, that's a sobriety token. <laughs> that ain't going to do no good around here at Clark's Cove Detecting. Found the number eight. Lucky number eight. And then I did have a ring today. It's kind of fancy. It does have a, a mark in it. It just says Taiwan. But still a fancy little ring. Hey, we take it. We ain't worried about whether it's real or not. Though well, we like to find the real ones, but we take them too. And then the best finds of the day is I had a 1956 Weedy. Zoom in on it right there. In pretty good shape. And then the bucket lister find. Woo! This blew my mind. My 1917 Standing Liberty Quarter. Is that just not beautiful? Or is that just not beautiful? coin and there's no mint mark on it and it is there are two different varieties of that coin um, one has the three stars under the eagle and the one doesn't of course we got the one with the three stars it's the latter variety number two variety number two the latter made of 1917 uh, the 1917 standing liberty quarters that was really mind-blowing that I found that okay then off to the clad <laughs> I hit it on clad today I had 325 in quarters I had 10 20 35 cents in nickels I had a dollar 60 in dimes and then 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 cents in pennies so not a bad day for Bob today. Can't complain when nope. we have days like that. Now, we're over to Melissa. And uh, as you all know, we are in a clad challenge with See It My Way 1, Shane Kabat, the blind treasure hunter. And I explained earlier that uh, in this challenge is going to run the whole month of this month, September. At the end of the month, we will tally up who has the most clad between Shane and Melissa. She's going to uh, represent Clark's Cove Detecting. It's not fair that we both go against one person. So she's going to do the challenge. And she had 350 and quarters. 250. 250 and quarters. I'm sorry about that. My mistake. I'll count one of these. Learn to count one of these days. 250 and quarters, three dimes. And she had 87 cents in pennies. She had the cool token. That is what I think, if I'm not mistaken, a peacetime token. If I'm mistaken, you all correct me on that and let us know. We would appreciate it, but that is a nice token. And she had a little snowman, vape pipe, little car, and she did have a ring today. It's just a junker, but still a little ring. Still nice. We take them. And she had a couple of surface finds here. She had this tool, 
This is nice. And this. It was both surface finds we did not film. And did I tell how many pennies you had? You had 87 cents in pennies, which gave you a total today of 367. So Shane, hope you're on your game. Now the loser of this challenge, that's going to be the fun part. Whoever wins just has bragging rights, plus they get to make up a challenge for the loser to do, and the loser has to film it and post it. So we're going to have a little bit of fun with this clad challenge this month. I hope you all sit back and enjoy it and tune in to enjoy it. Hey, don't forget to come over to Clark's Cove Detecting, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, give us a thumbs up. It's not hard to do, folks. Come on. Show some love. And always remember, if you lose it, we, we find it. We find it, that's right.